In a previous video, we talked about China's five technological breakthroughs in 2022 that could change the world. Among them, many viewers left messages expressing their expectations for 3D printing technology. Today, I made a special video chat about China's 3D printing technology. Why can China lead the world in this field and it is difficult for other countries to surpass it? In the past few decades, countless new technologies have been born and changed our lives, and 3D printing is one of them. It can print parts on J-11B fighter jets, fuselage components of China-made large aircraft C919, and can produce personalized medical supplies with the most accurate dimensions in the shortest time. Currently, it is being used in the construction of the Yangtze Dam on the Qinghai Tibet Plateau, and the possibility of printing a lunar base has also been demonstrated by China. So, how did China's 3D printing technology develop and grow at such a fast pace? What else can China print in the future? At the end of the video, you will also learn about the touching stories behind the Chinese R&D team, don't forget to watch to the end. Alright, let's start today's video. 1. What the United States asked to stop was done by China. In June 2005, China's first 3D, printed titanium alloy small parts were loaded onto an airplane thus completing a symbolic step in metal 3D printing technology. This is a very small part on the J-11B. Despite its small size, it took eight years before it could be used on an aircraft. China has thus become the first country to break through this technology. After the successful application, Chinese expert Wang Huaming noticed that the United States has declared that the use of 3D printing to manufacture large-scale key components of aircraft will not work. 3D laser forming technology is a technology that the United States is very jealous of and wants to have very much. It prints titanium alloy material, and those components it printed can be used in fighter jets, C919, and aerospace probes. By the way, this technology China ranks first in the world. Its principle is actually very simple, that is, the metal powder is heated and melted by the high temperature of the laser and then the powder is printed and formed by the 3D printing equipment. Due to the high temperature of the laser, it can easily handle even titanium alloys. So it can print some high-performance alloys very well, and it is more efficient and the utilization rate of materials is higher. At present, this technology is not yet popular, but it has shown amazing potential in military and some civilian fields. If it is really applied on a large scale, then major equipment such as automobiles, ships, an aircraft will usher in a new manufacturing revolution. In fact, as early as the 1980s, the US military took the lead in researching this technology, and then applied them to high-performance fighters. In 2002, they made a technological breakthrough and installed small titanium alloy parts on fighter jets. But after that, the American expert team has been unable to conquer large 3D laser components. In 2009, Wang Huaming and his team used 3D printing technology to make the overall window frame of the titanium alloy main windshield of the domestic, large aircraft C919. This big guy weighs about 10 kilograms. The situation at that time was that there was a company in Europe that could fulfill the order for China. But after forging, it will take at least two years to reprocess the parts. In addition, it will cost $2 million in tooling fees. In the end, Wang Huaming and his team used 3D printing to complete the window frame, which took only 55 days, and the cost was only one-tenth of the mold cost. With 3D printing technology, China has reached the world's advanced level for the first time in the field of manufacturing large and complex key metal components of major equipment such as aircraft and rockets. Since 2017, the number of 3D printing patents in China has exceeded the sum of other countries in the world and the application of 3D printing industry has developed at the fastest speed in the world. So, what else can China print in the future? 3D printing is subtly changing people's concept of manufacturing in fields as small as food, clothing, housing and transportation, as large as aerospace, medical treatment, industrial design, construction and other fields. The most critical part of major equipment must be the metal. How can the performance of metal materials be better, stronger and cheaper? I think 3D printing is the way to go. For the future direction of metal 3D printing, the goal of Wang Huaming's team is to develop a new generation of materials, 
such as a new generation of titanium alloys and a new generation of ultra-high strength steel, by controlling the micrometallurgical process. In his view, this may change the structure of major equipment in the future. Taking an airplane as an example, more than 20,000 parts may be needed now, but only a few parts may be needed for the fuselage in the future. Originally, dozens of parts had to be made and connected by screws or welded. In the future, 3D printing may be used to make a hole and the aircraft fuselage may really become a few parts. The application of 3D printing in the aerospace field is not limited to this. China has demonstrated the possibility of 3D printing a lunar base. The composition of the lunar soil is mainly composed of silicate, iron oxide, aluminum oxide, and calcium oxide. The lunar soil is collected on the moon, sieved, and printed. To put it simply, it is equivalent to printing out hollow, heat insulating bricks, and then assembling them into lunar bases piece by piece by robots. All in all, within a certain period of time, if the advantages of 3D printing are fully utilized, it will have transformative significance for the performance of equipment and the basic industry of equipment manufacturing. In the field of metal 3D printing, after more than 30 years of unremitting efforts, Chinese expert Wang Huaming and his team have technically achieved corner overtaking. At this stage, they are still innovating, developing a new generation of metal materials through 3D printing, and making very complex, high performance, and very fine large components. He said that what he is doing is the oldest thing in metal casting, and it is also a thing that may change the structure of major equipment in the future. From the Bronze Age to the Iron Age, from the Titanium Age to the Silicon Age, we've been marking epochs with metals for thousands of years, and in that sense, I've done the oldest thing. In the late 1980s, Wang Huaming, who majored in casting, became attached to 3D printing. According to him, the whole team is actually two teachers and a few students working hard all the time. The equipment cannot be stopped, and someone needs to be staring at it 24 hours a day. Some members of the team have not seen the sun for seven or eight years. It's hard for ordinary people to imagine. The driving force for all of us to do all this has nothing to do with economic benefits, nor does it have anything to do with writing papers but purely hoping to achieve breakthroughs in 3D printing technology little by little. He said frankly that he never thought that he could install the 3D printed parts he made on the plane in his lifetime. A person who is generally engaged in aviation will make a new aviation material. He may start to make a new aviation material after graduating from university. When he retires at the age of 60, the things he made will not be able to board the plane. We are very proud that we have done a record-breaking milestone in only 8 years. Well, thanks for your listening, and please be free to put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.